Batono premier ministro, Sapatio Stumrebo, Kal Batonovo da Batonovo, Mega Brebo, Didi Madlova Mopezane Bistvis. Martlats, Udedesi Pativia Chemtwis, Viho Tkweni Maspinzeli, Misi Ahmate Buleba, Dedo Plis Dava Debistris Sveule Baze, Tan Pirvelad. Me da cemi ojahe, ukve schrat veat bili shivart. Koelas, gulitadi madloba, aseti tbili da dauvitskari utu yeter bebistris. Schovrobd dautsve of soplioshi, tumtsa amschratvis gamavlobashi, me dauts dautskari. Me Davards Mundi, Rom Sakat Velosa, da did Britanets, Zalen Hrma, das Lieri Pesfebi Ax. Didi Britanetis Tanadgoma, Sakat Velos Souveranitetis, da Territoriulim Tlianovis, Shesarke, Sali. Sali Kildesavit Kitsi. Amjamad, Amjamad Britanelli da Kadveli Halchis Kavshirebi Partovdeba. Ganza Kutrabulia Tana Megobrova Universitet Ebsa da Business Eb Shoris. Sales. Ods da huti procentit gaizab da didi britanetis dan chamom svelta ritzchi. Antum tsa es moch da pieda piri resis ach genam de. Chemos tum rebo kal batonobo da batonobo. Hoveli vehes, saput zvelia, mumevali, odstahuti slis, meti, sarmatabisa, da sinsvisa, chvens kweknebs shoris. Dear Ambassador Justin Mackenzie Smith, dear friend, dear Justin, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished friends, at the outset, permit me to express my sincere, deepest condolences regarding the fire at Grenfell Tower in North Kensington, Kensington, and our prayers are for at least 17 people killed, as well to those people who have been desperately seeking news of missing family and friends. Also, with the victims of the recent attacks, on London Bridge and the Borough Market. This year we celebrate 25 years of bilateral relations between the UK and Georgia. The UK was one of the first nations to recognize Georgia's independence in April 1992. But there is more to remember and celebrate. From 1919 to 1921, we had a brief diplomatic rendezvous when Lord Curzon offered Sir Oliver Wardrop to take up the posting of the first British Chief Commissioner of Transcaucasia in Tbilisi. The Wardrop family name is very precious to Georgians. It is not just about politics, but about culture as well. Since the late 19th century, Oliver and his sister Marjorie promoted Georgian culture in the English-speaking world. They befriended Ilya Chavchavadze and other leaders of Georgia's intellectual revival of that time. At the inaugural session of the UK-Georgia bilateral meeting in 2014, we decided symbolically to call it the Wardrobe Dialogue, upgraded to the Wardrobe Strategic Dialogue last year to discuss a wide range of issues 
like foreign policy, national security, defense, commerce, economy, and energy. Yes, the strategic partnership between our countries covers various fields. Georgian and British soldiers fight side by side in the NATO Resolute Support Mission, and we are very proud of this. For more than 20 years, British Petroleum has been active here in Georgia, contributing to the major geopolitical project for Georgia, the East-West Energy Corridor. The UK has been financing several high-quality educational programs like Chevening, John Smith Fellowship, and others. And I would like to extend sincere thanks on behalf of our students. I would also like to extend our thanks to the British Good Governance Fund for supporting us in building up our strategic communications capabilities with the aim to support economic reforms and good governance in eastern neighborhood countries. In doing so, the United Kingdom facilitates regional stability and prosperity in Georgia. We enjoy the close relationships between UK, Georgia and Twin Cities, Tbilisi, Bristol, Kutaisi, Newport, and Akhaltsikhe, Newcastle. To enhance and intensify our people-to-people -people relations, we have recently resumed direct flights to London from Tbilisi and Kutaisi. Ladies and gentlemen, Georgian cuisine distinguishes itself among the culinary arts of the world, but it has been Britain that always provided the richest food for thought for Georgian artists and intellectuals. And the name of the main dish in these terms has always been William Shakespeare. Georgian, tra Georgians translated and staged Shakespeare since the mid 19th century. And by the way, the first production was staged not in the capital of Tbilisi, but in a tiny western Georgian town of Banza, back in 1873. And they performed the Merchant of Venice. Since then, for a century and a half, we've, we've seen dozens of productions of the plays by Shakespeare on Georgian stages, some of them regarded as the best in Europe and beyond. In political terms, I can say that Shakespeare used to be one of the top European ambassadors to Georgia, bringing us back to the family we once belonged to. And as the great bard would put it, all's well that ends well. This year we got visa-free travel through Euro European Union states. At the end, I would like to praise heroes of a Londoner named Roy Lerner, a young man who challenged the terrorists entering a borough market restaurant with knives. Roy showed no fear and fought all three terrorists at once, allowing dozens to escape unharmed while he himself was stopped eight times. Roy's courageous actions are emblematic of the strength of British character, which will never be broken. The famous British humor also strengthens the enduring British spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, here is to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you to raise your glasses, please, and toast Her Majesty the Queen. And one more toast, ladies and gentlemen, if I may. Vitanelli da Kadveli Kalkis Megoprobas. Kao Marjos.